wrestling fans, here we have it. This match for the Canadian Heavyweight Champion, Arriba Luis Martinez, putting his championship on the line against the man Bulldog Von Cannon George. If there's one way that the fans can help their favorite to upset and aggravate Bulldog Von Cannon, it's to bark at him. He seems to forget everything, his professionalism, his ability to the ring when he's barked at very strongly by the crowd. It, it, it really drives him crazy. And I'll tell you something, wrestling fans, wherever you are, wherever Don Kent wrestles in your area, if you want to, like I say, give a hand to your favorite, bark at him loudly and keep it going. The man does go crazy. And I'll tell you, that's the best way that you can help your favorite. That's the only way. Look, look, George Louis Martinez with the advantage right from the start of this match. He picks Kent up. There's Martinez. Louis does have the upper hand, George, you'd have to say, but Kent forces him back against the ropes. Kent for oh, punch to the midsection. Another one over the back of the neck. One minute gone in this match. You know that Kent wasn't going to break cleanly. Punch to the side of the head. Bulldog gone, Kent. Oh, grabs Louis Martinez's head into that top corner turnbuckle. Well, it's switched around. Kent now in control. Lays a big forearm into the upper chest of Arriba, Luis Martinez. Another one. Solid right hand smasher. Oh, he's got a pinch there, George. He's doing something to the neck of Martinez. Does he have a hold of the nerve or what's the story? There you see it. There you see it, wrestling fans. That's what happens. That's what happens. When you bark at him, he loses control. Even if it's momentary, it does help his opponent. Louis Martinez with those double judo chops. Almost a tomahawk chop. Grabs Kent. He's going to whip him. He whips him into that far corner turnbuckle. Kent out of the corner. Backdrop. Kent down very, very heavily. And isn't that a beautiful red dog collar he's wearing, George? Sure is nice and pretty. <laughs> Punches to the face by Martinez. George, it's so nice to see a man wear the championship belt with the courage, the distinction, and the honor of a man like Louis Martinez. Whoa, the two men collided, and Martinez outside through the top and middle rope. Kent is in the ring, Martinez is out. What did Kent do? Wait, 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 wait. what is Kent taking out? What is Kent taking out of his trunks? It's the leash. It's a chain, it's a dog, dog leash. leash. It's a chain leash. He's wrapped around his hands. This like knuckle dusters or something. It's a dog leash. There you see it, wrestling fans. There you see it. Martinez is wobbly. Oh, Kent used it on him to the top of the head. George, you got to do something about this. George, we can't let the championship belt pass on a, something like this. The count of three has been in. Let's hear what happens. Oh. It happened once before. It happened when the manager of Alana Von Howard took this belt from Louis Martinez. Louis Martinez was put by Alana Von Wrestling, and I will not see this belt change hands again under circumstances like that. The commission would like to see the fellas of this match. Here's what's happening right now. Here's what's happening right now. I don't know if this microphone is on or not. Luis, <laughs> George, I don't know if you noticed I ran with the belt. It yes, was destroyed. It was destroyed once. Okay. We've, we've agreed on this, that the commission will hold up the belt until they can take a look at the phones to prove to the referee that Kent used the chain around his hand. And that's the only thing we can do, Milk. And Louis, the belt is going to be held up. And of course, Tuesday night coming up in St. John's, you've got a match with Kent. That match that night will determine who's going to have the belt because we have to see the films. We have to make sure what's happening. Louis, going into the 27th as of this point right now, 
The belt is held up. 